Hi, my name is Kayla Johnson and I'm a recent graduate of Otterbein University with a degree in broadcast production and speech communication. During my time at Otterbein, I took full advantage of everything that was offered to me. But my two biggest passions became TV and radio. My first day freshman year, I was in the TV class and I just fell in love. A short few months later, I became the promotions director for our television station. I tried to incorporate t our Otterbein TV into many numerous events on campus and the city of Westerville. From there, I became a general producer where I would help with productions and different shows that we would put on here at TV. And then I became a senior producer. But my biggest accomplishment at television was when I became the operations manager. I held this position for the last year and a half that I was at Otterbein, and it was just such a great feeling of achievement for me. I had worked my way up from the bottom, and then I was at the top. This allowed for me to bring in the new class that came in each year, and I was able to teach them and allow them to really learn and feel the passion that I had for TV. I also was in charge of general maintenance and upkeep of our studio and to make sure that all of our productions ran smoothly. My other passion was radio. I became involved with radio the spring of my freshman year and I soon found that I loved it. I'd found my second home here at Otterbein. My favorite thing was being able to do your own radio talk show. My first one was a 90s throwback show and it was called Bring On the Dancing Lobsters where we would talk about 90s, everything, how we were when we were in elementary school and it soon became one of the most popular shows here at WOBN. My next show was Girl Talk. It was just a way for girls to come on radio and have an alternative to sports talk or any kind of music or rock. We were able to just talk about gossip, celebrity news, what's going on in Hollywood. For two years I hosted this show and then I left it on and it still continues even after I'm, I left. But radio I also worked my way up in the staff. I started out again as the promotion director where I was able to incorporate WOBN into numerous campus events and also branch us out into the city of Westerville. I then served as the training, tra training and development coordinator for two years. This was just a way for me to interact with the new freshmen and just to give them all the knowledge that they needed to know in radio. Whether it was running the audio board or being able to set up remote events, I was there to help them every step of the way. Now these passions led for me to want to get real world experience. So my first internship came the winter of my sophomore year. I worked for NBC4. It was called a daytime talk show called Daytime Columbus. And it was just a very good opportunity for me. I was able to serve as the productions intern where I would help set up the show, help the set, strike it after it was done, and I served as a floor director during the show. I was also the one who cut and uh, edited video and sent to the web after the show was completed. My next internship came in the summer of my junior year. And here I served as a, a public relations intern for Boss Fitness Company. It was so new to me, it was something that I kind of spearheaded and took on, but it wound up being a very great experience. I built them a public relations campaign from the bottom up and I was able to send out flyers and advertisements, make them new business cards, and just ways to generally promote their company because they were moving to a larger establishment. My third internship was one of my favorites. I served as a morning co-host for a Mix 107.9 Mark Dancer. It was incredible. I was able to get up every morning and I could talk on the radio and I could connect with people and just have my personality show only using my voice. And I got very good feedback. I actually spoke at Otterbein and I had numerous people come up and say, I listen to you every day on the radio. Like, I, I, I know you, I think you're fun, you're so easy to listen to. And it was just one of the greatest compliments that I could ever receive. And my fourth and final internship was one that I really worked for. For 147 days, I made one video every day and I sent it into the Ellen DeGeneres show. Now my videos, people asked me, what did you make them about? How did you get ideas? And it was really, what's just going on in my life? So every day for 147 days, I made Ellen a part of my life. I told her why I thought I'd be a good fit. I told her how driven I was and how determined that I was to get this internship. And after about five months, I received it. So last, for the last six months, I was interning with the Ellen DeGeneres Show as their production intern. And it was great. It really allowed for me to blossom as a person and for my personality to shine through and for me just to take any task that I was given and to just run with it and make sure that I did it to 110% and that I was fulfilling my potential. So my background in television and radio, it really started out pretty small, but it grew to something immense and great. 
and I've loved every bit of it. I have such a passion for the broadcast industry and for media in general. I think television and radio are still a way just to talk with people, interact with people, and you just want to be able to connect with them. I think I would enjoy being a QVC host so much. I love to be personable, I love to talk with people, and I really love for people to feel comfortable around me. I really like for people to come up to me and say, you're so easy to talk to, you're so fun. That's just the greatest compliment that anyone could ever give me, is that for a little bit of time, they could connect with me, they could feel happy, and they could smile, and they could just know that I care about them. And that's what I try to portray whenever I'm in front of a camera or behind a microphone. I always just want to let people know that I care about them. So QVC, I would really enjoy this opportunity. I think it would be something great for me to not only flourish as a person, but for me to try something new that I've never done. I've done a little bit of anchoring on TV. I've done numerous live events where I've let my personality shown, but I've never done anything like hosting. And I think it's something that I would really enjoy. I could let my personality shine. I could be stylish in the process. And what girl doesn't love to shop? So thank you for this opportunity. My name is Kayla Johnson, and I thank you again. Ladies, at the start of fall, I know that means two things. It's food weather and pumpkin spice lattes, but there's something else you need to add to your repertoire. This is the newest thing. All the way in from France, we have the Infinity Sweater. Now, I know we have tons of Infinity Scarfs in our closet, but I don't think you've ever seen an Infinity Sweater quite like this. This particular sweater comes in various colors, but the one we have here is more of a burnt orange. But it's so great. It's versatile and can be worn in four very unique ways. The first of which is the traditional scarf wear. Wrap it around, let it hang, and what's great about this are the buttons. If you can see, the buttons are also the fabric, so you can't see them and they don't stand out, so it just looks like a solid scarf. The next how you can wear it are just like sleeves. Now, I've worn this multiple times, and let me tell you, it's great. It's just cozy. I'll just show you the button on one. But you can wear them as sleeves. I've worn it out before. You put them on both. And it really, really makes for something quite comfortable. Because if you're out on a cool night, perfect for bonfires. You just want a little something extra, and you've got it. Now, what's really awesome about this is its versatility to become a cardigan. Now, ladies, I know we all love our cardigans out there. But here's the thing. When you want to wear this as a cardigan, you're going to make it like a vest. So you can button it in the front. We'll just button it right up. And then you can also button it in the back. So it gives you a nice cardigan look, but it's something that you can wear underneath blazers or even if you just have like a button up, a jacket. And it makes it a little bit easier to wear because it, you don't have the bulk underneath all of your sleeves and everything. So it's something that's really nice. It's something that's going to be totally in for fall. And it's something that I think everyone should go ahead and check out. So remember to get this. You have your infinity scarf for the fall season. With fall here and all the colleges back in session, I know a lot of college students have finals just around the corner, or so it seems. And when you're working, you have promotions, you have big projects going on. Stress is to the max. Then you come up with Christmas time. You have all the holidays going on. Stress is crazy. But this simple little head massager can really just erase all of your stress away. With me, I have John. John here is a stressed college student. Why is he stressed? He has papers. He has so much going on. So this simple head massager here can really erase all of your stress. It's going to ease all your tensions away. That would really help. As you can see, this 12-prong head massager, it has a safety on each end, so it's not going to scratch your head, as you know. You're head massaging. And what's great about this, it's something that you can do by yourself, so you don't need to like, you know, go bother people, ask them to you know, massage your head you're good. But if you have great friends, you can, you know, have them help you out too. But we'll go ahead and demonstrate. You just simply place it on top of your head and you're going to push downward and up. You can do from the back, you can go on the top. And I mean, really, John, like, come on, all your... It really does feel really, really good. The tensions are just melting away. But what's really nice about this is you can get these in any color you want. Mine's pink, obviously, because that's my favorite color. But you know, I know the guys out there, they come in green, blue, any sort of color that you want. They also come in an assortment of colors for girls as well. But the nice thing about these is they are cheap. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere, and you can really give them out for gifts. So not only are they great for relieving the stress of being in college or work or anything, but you can also give them out for Christmas gifts or anything, stocking stuffers, they're perfect. But yeah, you can just watch your stresses melt away 
And then, John, why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Because you, you don't need me. See, it's perfect. It's perfect for all Please. around. So there you have it. A simple head massager is something that not only can be used for everyone in your family, but it's cheap, effective, and your stresses will be gone.